Yo, what's good you guys? It's your boy the Kryptonian Say and bringing you a review for One Piece chapter 145. So the quack doctor dies. I mean, you knew this was coming, but there, there are little panels in this chapter that it just makes it so, so nice, so nice. And I'm not a big fan of speeches, particularly speeches by dead men, but I like this one. I, I liked his speech about... Uh, basically when people die, they're only truly dead when you forget about them. But it's this one scene in here where right before he blows himself up, I was, I was really, I was really feeling this man. Just, just the symbolism behind it. It's almost like a passing of the torch, right? Because he's got the, uh, he's got the cup in his hand and that's the stuff they use to blow himself up. And then you have the two doctors, you know, one's drinking to end his life and one's drinking. I think that she's drinking because she says goodbye, you old quack. I think that she's drinking more so because she understands that she has to carry on as well. You know, she has to at least carry on, you know, training Chopper and, <clears throat> you know, uh, the cherry blossom task. But... This right here, like, that's just nice. That's just like a passing of the torch. That was, that was really cool. And that's what I mean, like, I, that's one of the things I really enjoy about Oda's work is how he puts the panels together. That was really nice. And just to get into the speech, this is after uh, Dr. Quack gets there, right? Or the Quack Doctor. And he's told, like, there is no ma national emergency as you can see, the 20 doctors are all fine. And that's when he says, oh, what a relief. And this is after, you know, Wapple tells him, look, man, you are going to die, fool. Like, you've evaded me for so long because they had this doctor hunt going on. And he says, you've evaded me for so long. I'm putting you to death. And we see Dalton again. We know that the bowels getting ready to break, right? Because Dalton, he's watching this and you can just see the wheels turning in his head. And he even asked, like, why did you come? And that's when you knew that the turn was getting ready to happen with Dalton. But I like this. Just the, and that's what I mean, it's the ticking clock. And we see Chopper, Tony Chopper, you know, rushing. And you know he's trying to get to Dalton to save him, right? And Dalton's given this speech. He said, "He says, when does a man die? Is it when he's shot in the heart with a pistol? No. When he's stricken with a deadly disease? No. When he eats soup made from a deadly mushroom? No. Chopper's just kind of running. We see the witch doctor. She's just angry. You know, she's preparing to take that last drink." And then we see the quack doctor, he says, it's when he is forgotten. I may disappear, but my dream will live on. And the ailing hearts of people will be healed. And that's, that's, just, that's just beautiful. You know, like, home is where the heart is. You know, you always have a place to call home if there's someone to care about you. And even after you've died, you're still alive if you have given people good memories to have about you as long as there's someone who cares about you and somebody who thinks about you whether it be daily or from time to time you're never truly dead and that's just beautiful man that's that's absolutely beautiful and you see it even now like when uh the witch doctor she has dalton not dalton uh the quack doctors you know, flag up there, Dalton endures his beating, and the beating he endures is because right before the quack doctor dies, he says, a monster's coming, but he's my son, and that was just beautiful, man. I talked about it in the Naruto, uh, Boruto chapter one, or the Naruto one shot that leads into Boruto chapter one about how family doesn't make you blood, and it's kind of like that thing with Orochimaru and Mitsuki, only in this case, Chopper wasn't made by the quack doctor. But it's still the same thing, though. 
you know, they're not blood related, but he looks at them like a son. And that was, that, that just touched me. That was, that was beautiful. And we see that, you know, Chopper practicing medicine. That's how the quack doctor continues to live. We see with uh, the witch doctor how she taught Chopper. And I'm guessing she still has those uh, bl cherry blossoms. I don't know what she's waiting on, but I'm thinking what's going to happen. And this is, you know, again, I've got the Naruto background. So I'm thinking this is going to be something similar to like the first Naruto movie where they're in this ice, this land of ice and snow, right? And the uh, father invested all of this money to bring spring so his daughter could see you know what what grass looks like and rainbows and Naruto had this corny ass rainbow Rasengan right I'm guessing it's going to be something similar like this but I like how at the very end of this chapter you know Dalton says that he carries out the will of the old king and he says I know the road that this kingdom is traveling and I just I just like that I like that because it just shows you that He's come to that decision where he's like, I'm not going to continue to do the immoral thing and go against my values. I like that. That that's that says a lot about his strength as a character, his conviction. So now that whole thing of, oh, he's so high and mighty. I've told you guys before, I hate characters like that, but I can I can get down with this one because this this is earned now. You know, like, and when you look at it in hindsight, Oda had to present these characters in this way because it automatically makes you say, okay, this is the same thing. And then when you get these, these, these backstories, it changes your percept perception of them. But when you look at it from a storytelling aspect, like I said, he had to do it because if you front load these different stories, you won't be able to tell the story in the way that you want to you won't be able to have the same impact on your readers so in this case this is absolutely the direction you had to take so i definitely appreciated this part of it now the other thing is is i thought it was interesting to make it seem like these might actually be wapples flashbacks because what happens is is after we have that scene with dalton that's when it transitions back to Luffy and Luffy's fist. And this is a nice double spread to end the, end the volume, too. Luffy's fist, like, Wapple just eats it. And look at the veins popping out, man. This was... Luffy put a lot of force into it. A lot of force. So it's looking like the next volume is going to start off with a bang. But overall, I said it was a pretty good chapter, man. Uh, my my question for you guys is going to be what part of uh, the Quack Doctor's death hit you and is there somebody in your life who's died who still lives on in you now? Is there somebody that you still think about from time to time? You guys, if you've been here from day one, I wouldn't even say from day one. If you've been here long enough, you already know the answer to that and my question. And now it's, now it's you guys' turn. But man, that's going to be it for this review. If you liked anything I had to say, hit that like button, comment, rate, subscribe, share. I will greatly appreciate it. That's it.